Hello and welcome to Apache News, the news show that brings you only positive news from around the world. Today we're looking at the positive news from the month of May 2024. So let's get started. Our first news story is about a new living plastic, as it's called, which is made out of bacterial spores. This type of plastic can break down in about five months with no need for any microbes. This plastic was made by the University of San Diego and created in the form of TPU plastic, which can be used to make footwear, floor mats, cushions and memory foam. This image shows thermoplastic polyurethane pellets on the left and bacteria spores on the right. A new less invasive way of collecting blood requires no medical training and is inspired by leeches. This new blood draw device is painless and more reliable than a finger prick. It was developed by researchers in Zurich and uses a combination of suction cups and micro needles. It doesn't penetrate deeply into the skin and therefore there is less discomfort or none at all. And as you can see from this image, the diameter is not much more than a one euro coin, which is quite fitting as this device is very cost effective. An Irish astrologist believes he has discovered the meaning of a series of symbols that are always presented together on the walls of the ancient Assyrian city of King Sargon II. These symbols are from 700 BC and located in a temple in Iraq. He believes that these symbols were a way of imprinting Sargon's name in the stars through language to ensure it would live on forever. When these are read together in the order they are depicted, they more or less sound out the name Sargon or Sarganu, which is how they would have said it back then. Spiders don't just use their webs to catch prey, they also use them as microphones to hear what's going on around them. Scientists located at Binghamton University in New York found that spiderweb silk moves at a velocity of particles in a sound field for highly sensitive long distance noise detection. It doesn't work like an eardrum or microphones that we use which detect sound pressure waves. Instead, spider silk responds to changes in the velocities of air particles as they are thrust about by sound waves. The scientists in their investigation found that the webs match the acoustic particle velocity for a wide range of frequencies. A new blood test confirmed by scientists in Japan can detect early stage Alzheimer's disease. This test is highly accurate and can possibly enable earlier treatment. It finds the protein that causes the disease before the patient even shows symptoms. An abnormal protein called amyloid beta is known to accumulate in the brains of patients long before any symptoms are visible. By adding other information such as the person's age, the scientists achieved an accuracy of more than 90%. New research shows that iron may be used instead of lithium in batteries as a safer and more environmentally friendly element. In a collaboration co-led by Oregon State University, a researcher is hoping to use iron as a cathode instead of cobalt and nickel in, in future phone and electric vehicle batteries. This iron cathode in these green batteries would make them safer, cheaper to manufacture and be more sustainable than using lithium. Canadian scientists have developed an organic smart material that can either soak spilled oil out of the water or repel it. This sponge-like material is made out of a material called CNF-SP aerogel. It's a combination of biodegradable cellulose and a substance called spiroporin. Spiroporin is a light sensitive material and has a sponge-like property where it can either soak up liquids or repel them. The intended use for this sponge-like material is to soak up oil spills in the sea. Scientists have discovered that Egyptians used to perform brain surgery 4,000 years ago. The scientists used CT scans when studying the skull of a man's body and found tiny cut marks from sharp implements meaning that ancient Egyptian physicians were either trying to remove the tumours from inside the man's head or doing an autopsy to study them. This is the first case of ancient surgery that involves cancer. Removing the tumours from the man's skull would have been a key part to their understanding. 
But that's all the news stories I have for this month's Apache News. Feel free to share any good news stories you found in the comments below. And feel free to look around the sources I have linked in the description. Thanks very much for watching and have a nice month.